Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. Uh, in this battle, I'll be going up against a confederation guy uh, in a small in a small map. I think this map is a uh, I, I don't know, I forgot the name. But let's go. Let's scout good uh, collecting the containers uh, and upgrading my base. Okay, so this guy forgot to uh, collect this container, uh, which was a bad mistake. Uh, but anyways, let's scout my opponent. You see that he has HQ level 2. Uh, so I decide to go HQ level 3 to be ahead of the game. Uh, and I make uh, an assault vehicle factory. And yeah. We can see he has some assaults coming. And he decides to attack me. Uh, and so, I plop down a few sniper towers and put the gold emergency measures piece. Uh, which increases the armor of buildings. Especially since I don't have gold common defense. Because emergency measures also increases the, the building armor. And so does common defense. But the thing about common defense is that it also increases defensive buildings damage. Uh, and I ran out of common defense boost so I had to use emergency measures. Okay, no sweat. Let's keep, let's keep going. We can see that he fell back with his fortresses. Uh, so I'm positive that he's going to regroup. So instead of going for Avia, I decided to go for more Armadillos. Just in case he decides to attack. And wow, we can see he has a ton of Fire Assaults. Uh, of course, Fire Assaults aren't going to matter uh, because Armadillos can outmatch Fire Assaults. So yeah. I also got one Assault Vehicle Factory producing Jaguars. Uh, to be ahead of the game, Jaguars are an HQ level 3 unit, he only has HQ level 2, so that's going to be beneficial. Okay, and using this infantry to scout, we see that he now has HQ level 3, and is building more infrastructure like, uh, like supply and power plant, and he's making some hammers. So I fear that he's going to do a hammer and fire assault rush, uh, which is really famous at Silver and Gold League. But it doesn't quite work out in the in the legendary league uh, because it, at these ranks uh, it can be countered by jaguars uh, and you can get HQ level three units faster. So those early game units become obsolete. Okay, so we're building up the army. Okay. And so I decide to make some more riflemen to scout the map, to gain some map control. And we can see how how uh, how powerful his assaults are. Uh, my riflemen are really weak, so I have to like outnumber him like four riflemen to two assaults, because that's how weak they are. Okay, so I use this armadillo for scouting, but it doesn't quite make it. And so yeah. Okay, my CP is almost up, so I decide to go and attack with these troops. Okay, so now he trails my units with his own units, so I put on gold vehicle attack, so my units uh, have extra range, uh, so they can fire when his units can't. Okay, so we're moving, we're attacking at the same time. Okay, so I keep one Jaguar in siege mode. Uh, to distract the hammers while the rest of my troops go. Okay, so we see that he was going Avia. So it was good that I, I went in. Take out his HQ. And take out his hammers one by one. Of course, I'm, I'm really confident he's using a gold common defense. Because the bunker's range and uh, his building's armor just went up. Okay, so he decides to rebuild his HQ. Uh, big mistake, because my units are still right there. Okay. So I think he used the HQ rebuilding boost. Uh, so he doesn't have any more HQ rebuilding boosts. So he cannot go HQ level 3 immediately. Uh, because if you use a gold HQ rebuilding boost, you can do so. Okay. So anyways, uh, I go Avia, uh, to prevent from my enemy going Avia. 
Uh, and I decide to make some more Jaguars and Armadillos. Uh, just to defend. Uh, if he decides to counterattack. Okay, so he uses fire assaults to wipe out my scouts. Uh, good idea, but I have some armadillos. Uh, so I clean up these fire assaults. And uh, now he has hammers. Uh, not that big of a deal. Because armadillos can usually one up hammers uh, in low numbers. So I wouldn't be too. Uh, a bit too mad about that. Okay, so we can see he has HQ level 2 upgrading to level 3. Uh, and so he is not able to rebuild that airfield he lost. Uh, so I take advantage and take down his avia factory. And I try to take down these uh, these air defense towers that are being built, just so just so uh, I can keep on my hawk. I can keep my hawk attacking. Okay, so my hawks went down to refuel, and I sent my hawk back. Uh, but by now he has some anti-air towers. So it would be wise to fall back. Okay, so we see that he is trying to move his hammers uh, down here, but I was aware of it, so I moved my armadillos and I was like, nope, you're not gonna attack me there. Okay, so I use my vehicle attack boost so my armadillos are faster than his hammers because the vehicle attack boost increases vehicle speed by 15%. Which is pretty useful. I think 10% actually. 10 to 15. Okay, so I know this group of our middles won't deal much damage. Uh, so I decide to put on the vehicle scouting boost just to see what he has on his base. Okay, so he's still making hammers. Uh, and he's not trying to rebuild his avia. And I have a good group of uh, jaguars ready to attack. And so I take the advantage, and I decide to attack immediately, giving him no chance to rebuild. Okay, so I put my Jaguars on Siege Mode. Uh, oops, uh, okay. So I put my Jaguars on Siege Mode, and shield my Jaguars with Flying Armadillos. So my, so th the, the enemy's hammers will be attacking the Armadillos, while the Jaguars will be attacking the hammers. Okay, so I move in. After all his hammers are destroyed, I put my Jaguars in Siege Mode to take down the bunkers uh, and, and the enemy hammers. Okay, so if the defense is down, I decide to move into his base and take down his factories. Okay, once his hammer factories are gone, uh, he would have no hammers left to contest me, and he would just have to spam assaults. And uh, that won't work because uh, I have a good amount of Jaguars. So it would take like a ton of assaults to take my Jaguar army down. Okay. So we move into his base. Okay, so we put on force fire uh, and keep on attacking. So now I have HQ level 4 making 3 Jaguars at a time. So even after this attack finish fails, finishes or fails, I'd still have a huge group of Jaguars ready to attack. Okay, so my enemy is crippled right now, and I go after his HQ, and once his HQ is gone, he loses all hope and just uh, destroys his own base. GG.